Okay, addressing the F-150. This is applicable from 2004 through 2008 and more than likely other vehicles from that same era, mainly the Expedition, uh, the Explorer, and even possibly the Crown Victoria of the following years um, for the stalling out at idle on the 4.6 liter. Um, this truck has, been, has 157,000 on it. It's my main puller. Um, I'm suffering right now, come to a traffic light. The truck will just randomly start sputtering and then just stall, sometimes without even warning, coming into a bend where I have to slow down and let off the gas. Um, the truck will just shut off. No warning, I'll do anything off. See is my oil light and my check engine light come on, shit saying that it's stalled, restarts instantly, and problem solved. But it stalls out again any time. And this one's gotten to the point that it's become a drivability issue because of such. So a lot of people have been discussing this. Uh, what you have here is this is your electronic throttle control because nothing car, no cars today have actual cable between the gas pedal and the throttle body. So this is the, step, the motor that actuates the throttle body control. Um, a lot of people have been looking at that for the ultimate solution in cleaning the throttle body. I've not even cleaned this one yet. But the predominant problem seems to lie within the throttle position sensor. This appears to be the original. Um, the original design is a rounded design. This might be the second design. Um, they've come up with a total of two designs. This might be the second oval design. I'm not 100% certain. But the Ford Metacraft replacement part is now a rectangle. Um, the other thing to be cautious with replacing this sensor is the screws that come with it and were installed from the factory are covered in... Oh man, I should just open this, but you can possibly see them on here. They are covered in Loctite, thread locker blue, um, which is problematic because a lot of guys break them off because they are only small screws. Um, they are T20. There's two of them. One right here and one right here down the bottom. The, to remove it, slide the red clip back, the locking clip, press in, and unplug it. Very simple. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use it. propane heat to go ahead and heat screws up just a small amount to try to soften the thread locker up so they come out using a cordless impact with the T20 bit. Unfortunately, I have no way to hold my camera, actually my phone, and uh, continue doing this, but I will be posting a follow-up seeing if this resolved the issue. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.